Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Today I am at a new cemetery that I have found nearby to film a Lakers update for you. I'm really happy that I was able to find a cemetery nearby. This one is near my home instead of my work. And since I've been home from work, I wanted to find a place nearby. The reason that I choose cemeteries is because they're so quiet and so peaceful. First of all, it's a wonderful place just to come and sit and think, but it's also a quiet and peaceful place. So it's great for filming my videos and it's just beautiful to look around and see all of the beautiful lush greenery that they have here. So I'm super excited that I found this cemetery near my home to film my Lakers updates. So now that the Lakers are no longer in the playoffs, I'm going to be doing things a little bit different. I'm going to be giving you some updates on new players, how the players are playing together at this point, but I'm also going to start talking about the playoffs and some of the teams that are in the playoffs. And I am gonna be watching and following teams throughout the playoffs just because I really enjoy basketball. And even though the Lakers aren't in it, I'm gonna to have to find a new team to cheer for this year. So let's get started. As far as the Lakers are concerned, there's a couple of people I'd like to talk about. First of all, I'd like to talk about JaVale McGee. He has really stepped up lately and shown what an amazing player he is. I was just reviewing his stats and from last year when he was playing for the Golden State Warriors to this year right now, his stats have more than doubled. He is doing so much better. He is showing that he is an amazing asset, not only in blocking shots from the opponent, but also from making shots for our team. He has been really, really amazing. It was a great game when we played the Sacramento Kings just recently. We won, even though we're already out of the playoffs, there are other teams fighting for the playoffs and the Lakers were actually able to win, which prevented the Kings from going into the playoffs. So even though the Lakers aren't in the playoffs, they actually do have a hand in determining who may or may not make it into the playoffs. It was an amazing game. Everyone played so, so great. I wish that we had been playing this well in all of the games leading up to it, but there's always next year. At least at this point, some of the new players that have come in over the last couple of months are learning to play well with the Lakers. And speaking of new players, he's actually not a new player, but he's really new to the court because he doesn't get to play very often. And that is Caruso. Alex Caruso has been playing with the Lakers for one year. He is number four on the Lakers and he really hasn't seen much time on the basketball court. But lately, the last few games, they have been bringing him in and he and LeBron have been playing so well together. They have made this partnership where he makes sure he's open when LeBron has the ball, LeBron passes and he makes the shot. It has been amazing to watch. I've actually really enjoyed having Caruso on the court. The first couple of times he was out on the court, he seemed very uncoordinated and uncomfortable. And it was clear that he just needed to find his place on the team. LeBron took him under his wing. Clearly they practiced together for a while because then within the last couple of games, he has come out and they have played together like stars. It has been an amazing duo. We do have another new player, but it's very temporary. It's just a 10 day contract that we signed with Scott Machado. He has been playing on the South Bay Lakers, which is the G League, and he just got a little bit of time in the game last night that we played against the Washington Wizards. We were able to pull out another win. It was actually really, really great. We really led most of the time, but Scott Machado came in in the last 46 seconds of the game. That was the only time he was out on the court, but he did get that time at least, and they made sure to pass the ball to him so that he was able to score and make a basket during this 10-day contract. The Lakers do have another game tonight. Today is Wednesday, March 27th. It's at 7.30 p.m., and obviously when you're watching this video, this game will already be over but I am certainly hoping that the Lakers will be able to pull out another win just because it's still fun and exciting to watch them play especially when they play really well tonight is an away game we are playing the Utah Jazz and they are actually ahead of us just a little bit so it's gonna be a tough fight but hopefully we'll be able to pull out a win let's start talking about the playoffs a little bit the regular basketball season ends April 10th and the playoffs will begin April 13th with the finals concluding in June. The top eight teams in the Eastern Conference and the top eight teams in the Western Conference will be heading to the playoffs. 
let's start with the Western Conference. So far, the teams that will be playing in the playoffs for the Western Conference are the Warriors, the Nuggets, the Trailblazers, the Rockets, the Clippers, Jazz, Thunder, and Spurs. Uh, the Spurs are so far ahead of the Kings that it does not appear that there is any chance that the Sacramento Kings are going to be able to make it into the playoffs. Like I said, the game that the Lakers played against the Sacramento Kings a few days ago was enough to put the nail in the coffin for them and take them out of any playoff chance. The teams that will so far be playing for the Eastern Conference are the Bucks, Raptors, 76ers, Pacers, Celtics, Nets, Pistons, and Magic. The team in ninth place right now is Heat, and they are actually only one game apart from the eighth place team, Magic. So there is a chance that they could still make it into the playoffs over the next couple of weeks that's all we have left time will tell and as we get to playoff time I will update you on the teams that actually made it into the playoffs I'm really excited for the playoffs this year I actually do also really like Golden State Warriors Lakers are my team but Golden State Warriors are always fun to watch they are such an amazingly talented team so as they are in first place for the Western Conference, it is pretty clear that they have played so well that they will probably make it into the finals again this year. And if they do, I will look forward to watching them and keeping you updated on those games. Before I end this video though, I do wanna share with you some information. There are several Lakers whose contracts are up after the 2018-2019 season. So it's going to be interesting to see whether their contracts are renewed and they stay with the Lakers or whether they move on to other teams. Obviously this summer is going to be a huge, huge deal for the Lakers in deciding which big player they're going to get to bring to the Lakers to play with LeBron and the remaining players on this team. But so far, the players who have contracts ending after the 2018-2019 season are Contavious Caldwell-Pope, Rajon Rondo, Mike Muscala, Lance Stevenson, Reggie Bullock, JaVale McGee, and Tyson Chandler. I'll be interested to see what the Lakers do with these players, whether they re-sign them or whether these players move on to other teams. Obviously, it's going to be very, very imperative for the Lakers to pick perfect players to join the current team or anyone else that remains with this team. There are a lot of people on the list that I just named that I am hopeful will stay. JaVale McGee, first of all, um, he is an amazing player and I really hope that he remains on the Lakers. The other player that's going to be a free agent after the 2018-2019 season, as I've talked about before, is Kevin Durant from the Golden State Warriors. And I'm certainly hopeful that he joins the Lakers. I'm hopeful that he's the big player that we get because he is so talented. He is really, really an amazing player and I love watching him play. And I'd certainly love for him to bring his talents to the Lakers. I hope you've enjoyed my video. I hope you've enjoyed these updates. Keep checking back for additional Lakers updates and also for updates throughout the playoffs and into the finals. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.